Wow, those sounds <laughs> amazing. The entire environment of the SSM is just so incredible. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Here we are in another video, and yes, uh, even though I said I probably will never fly it until the tablet comes out, well, here I am flying without the tablet because I realized something. I actually have a takeoff calculator that I've used so many years, and I totally... I don't know how I forgot that I still had it. Or I don't know how I forgot that I didn't have it, so to speak, or I did have it, whatever. And that would be Topcat. Um, yeah, takeoff calculator told that it was used um, uh, with PFPX, so it was um, basically two products that you could combine, and so you had a takeoff calculator for an A320, 737, 777, 747, so on and so forth. Uh, for those who know what Topcat is, will understand that it is a great tool. Um, nothing I would recommend buying these days, but still, nevertheless, a great tool. And um, yeah, I can do takeoff calculations with it now. So we're gonna do it, although I'd still wish we had some SimReef integration and had some kind of ACARs like in the uh, Phoenix. Um, you know what? I do feel like flying some 737s, so we're doing it. We're doing it from Vegas to uh, to Portland, uh, one hour and 51 minutes from runway to runway, so we can expect, and we are on Vatsum as you can see. Um, I decided to hop onto Vatsum, we'll see how long he stays online. Um, hopefully not too, hopefully long enough for us to get some ADC clearance and depart, but uh, of course I can't promise anything. So, let's start up. Battery comes on. Voltage, X, 24 volts. Then my power is guarded. Alternate flaps guarded and off. Hydro electric hydraulic pumps off. Wipers off. AP bleed off. Gear is down. Three green, and we can double confirm that up here. We can then apply the external power. Our test. Okay, that works. Extinguisher bottles. Fix. And uh, we're just gonna wait for the aircraft to power up and then we will also get our charts and all our flight documents ready for now. And we'll see you once we got all that done. Alright, so the aircraft is powered up. We got some information loaded here. Um, we just started fueling. The fueling is commencing and then we're going to start with the baggage and everything once we can. And the passengers as well. We're about 20 minutes away from departure, which I mean we already are. Um, we're a bit late. Um, but aircraft's powered up, everything else is done with all the documents, so we're going to go into the after red scan. That checks out. These are on, nothing is, nothing is good here. Everything else checks here. At least enough. Verify the align light illuminates. Perfect. Engine oil quantities are checked. Hydraulic quantities are checked. They have config. Also checks parking brake. Provide the manual gear extension door is closed. Up levers up, spoilers are retracted, indication agrees. We'll verify recall and cancel. We also got ATIS, so 3004. Information mic currently. Um, so we're good there. I'm gonna start with the aft loader. Uh, yep, we didn't initialize eight cars and all that stuff, but 
Uh, we don't have that just yet, so we're going to start with doing our flight plan. Go to Vegas. To Portland. Flight number Southwest 222 Alpha. Again, no A car, so we can't do a flight, re flight request. One way, 26 right. The Joker 3, Keno transition. And it's filed after Keno, Yaren. And then arrival, Alice 28 right. This we got this interests you. We're gonna hold up. We go. Perfect. So our flight plan. Um, uh, check here in case we have a transition maybe that we can use. Ice axe. D. No. Doesn't look like it, so we'll go back to root. Plug that in. The legs we should have only one CERN, that's checked. And we'll go back to legs, verify the restrictions with our SID. That looks good. We'll activate execute. We don't have anything for the face, we'll go to init, performance. We'll enter in the values that we expect, so cost index 5, zero fuel weight 113 decimal 6, cruise flight level 380, transition altitude 18,000 feet, our hazard deviation is plus 8, so minus 48, and cruise winds 209.24. Plug that in. Climb, econ, cruise, econ as well. And then the rest is check forecast. We're gonna plug in once we are close to the top of the sand, so nothing that will be seen. Fixed information, we don't need anything either. Um, it's not as of right now. Perfect. We'll keep it on this page and continue with the flow. I think that number's on. We'll see. We'll check this later. Things good. Valley on. Full time can come on. And, um, on services. Release. Start with boarding. It's already loaded. Now we just gotta wait for the front loader. And we'll continue here. Max auto AP bleed off, flight 030. And our elevation is 31 feet, so we're put it at zero. This checks out. Confirmed. Mm -hmm. That's one to two 
does more. Eight. Initially, and then one, two, three, three, five. Seven, two, two, zero is set. WS that's a real short one. Light slope. Pull up. There you go, now the lights are Wind out. Windshear. 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 Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. TCAS test. Pass. Pre flight checklist. Oxygen tested 100%, navigation and transfer display switches, normal auto or navigation transfer and display switches, normal auto, window heat is on, pressurization was left towards auto, light instruments heading 45, 45, 45, 45, and altimeter 3004 on all three sets, and altitude about 2160, actually 2190 close to it. Parking brake is on. And start levers off. Three flight checklist complete. We got our final load sheet 113.4. Fuel. A 15.8. A 2.2. Execute N1 limit. Got the flex at 33 or it's assumed temperature of 33. Take off, flaps 5. Trim, and these speeds are 129, 130, and 133. 133 is set. Let's start the APU. Oh, voltage and frequency. Frequency voltage is checked. Apply the APU. APU bleed can come on. Recognition is checked. Dual bleed light. Light deck to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We will be ready shortly. Roger. Here goes our jetway. Fuel pumps can come on, hydraulics on, beacon on, turn our packs off. Save letter trim is set to 6 units. We'll do the before start checklist. Flight leg door is closed, lock MCP V2123 heading 259er, initial altitude flight level 190, take off speeds V1129, ER130, V2133 is set. PDU pre flight is completed, veteran ailer on trim, free and zero testing, takeoff briefing is completed, anti collision light is on. Force start check is complete. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Brakes released. Pushing back. I have a bug with this parking brake. I know. I'm um, just like in real life, you're supposed to apply full pressure to apply the brakes and that works. But I cannot, when I apply full pressure on the brakes again to release it, it doesn't work for me. I actually had to assign a button in order to hold the brakes in MSFS, which is really strange. Yeah, I don't know. You are clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. I just forgot we actually had to push back straight. Damn it. I mean, he didn't say anything, but normally in that case, you would push back straight. Oh well.
Sir cut out. Take the generators. Check. Pull up. Down. Control. Left. Pull right. Control. Butter. Pull left. Pull right. Control. The call is checked. Let's go ahead and request taxi. To San Diego, please. Zero one three five, pre departure plan sir. Thank you. Clear for takeoff from A26 right for uh, Tropical Alpha. Alpha. Special craft, send it up, disconnect, box server, boundary, and. Hello, you can inbound tank Alright, 40%. Aircraft calling LA Center was just dropping off voice for just a moment. Oh, go. Uh, that was for 641 with the gun that was Center on five. Special advisor at the two twenty. This is set. Three knots. Expect to touch the pole. E one. Rotate. Burning out. Symmetry zero zero zero. Positive rate of climb. You're up. Uh, 2-2-2 Alpha, radar contact, 5-2-2-2 uh, Alpha, you'll have to repeat, you're uh, unfortunately still broken I can't get the safe for jump to Alpha
to Alpha Field is your 10 o'clock 1 1 lap house before you say. We've got the field inside for Rachel Charlton. Alpha 222 Alpha, clear visual approach for Nate's date, right? Clear visual to date, right, for Rachel Charlton. Bank 8840, Yasser is here on the street, the squad 5237. Five two three seven in the book. So join eighty eight forty. Then eighty eight forty later contact over to Baker City. You are by over three six seven. Eighty TBM1 Tango Bravo with Charlie, we're ready for taxi. TBM1 Tango Bravo, uh, runway 34 right at Quebec, taxi via Bravo, Quebec. 34 right at Quebec, taxi via Bravo, Quebec. TBM1 Tango Bravo. Film Center, good morning, Alaska. Number 5 with Charlie, we're stopping at runway. Miami Airport, Nocturne 2 departure, Vader Vector Stormy, Venice File, RCS is accepting Kane 7000, Clock 58173. Very clear to Miami Mountain 2, Vader Vector Stormy, as file, maintain 7, Clock 5173, Alaska 305. Alaska 305, back, left, call taxi, runway 34 right for departure, it is Charlie. We do have Charlie, 34 right, 305. Uh, Freight Dog 1601, radar contact the altitude. Freight Dog 1601, 2700 for 7000. Freight Dog 1601, radar climbing came by over 380, clear for rest danger. 380, clear for Oscar 105, fly present heading, just gonna maintain 3000 vectors for visual. Fly present heading, just gonna maintain 3000 vectors for the visual. Alaska 105. Southwest 222 Alpha with 2103 or 928 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 28 right for a top drop. Then 7 1 x ray radar contact lost. Any checklist? So for this continuous speed break on landing gear down to being Seattle Center, uh, good day, no gear 108 and climbing 16,000 direct job in. Uh, no gear 108, Seattle Center, climbing in uh, 17,000. Climb 17,000, no gear 108.
Uh, no, there are 108. Are we expecting the RNAV Sulu runway 16? No, there are 108. Uh, the wind, let me just get a wind at Renton real quick. Runway 108, thank you. Okay, the wind at Renton 340 at 5. Let me know if you'd like uh, 34 or 16. Um, not there, 108. Uh, actually, we we could take runway 16 if, um, yeah, we'll, we'll take runway 16. Better. Southwest 222 Alpha, thanks for flying Portland. Be advised beverages and hors d'oeuvres are available in the pilot's lounge. Thanks for flying Portland. Flight plan closed 1714. Portland Ground, hello, Alaska 105, clear runway 28 left at Echo. We're going to get Charlie 11. All right, guys, that is the end of the flight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this flight at 737. Um, very soon we're probably going to get the 737-800, um, probably by the time this video comes out it might have already been out, um, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to it, and until then, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day, and uh, peace!